Now, it was just moments ago that Speaker Paul Ryan weighed in on the president turning to Democrats for help with the debt deal. Roll tape. What the president didn't want to do is have some partisan fight in the middle of response to this. He wanted to make sure that in this moment of national crisis, where our country is getting hit by two horrible hurricanes, he wanted to have a bipartisan response and not a food fight on the timing of the debt limit attached to this bill. But how? So basically, <clears throat> that's what I think, <clears throat> that's what I believe his, his motivation was. Okay, now joining us is Congressman Brian Babin, Republican from Texas. Congressman, I approve of what the president did. I'm glad he went with the Democrats to get something done. Because in my mind, the GOP is not a party of government at this point. Your response, please. Well, uh, let, let's, let me just tell you this. I serve in the House of Representatives. Uh, now, if you look and say it, we don't do things, uh, quite frankly, we passed health care in May. Uh, we have uh, passed meaningful VA uh, legislation, which has been signed into law. Congressman, uh, I'm sorry to be rude, but you are a Republican. And the Republican Party has failed to do anything in Congress thus far. <laughs> well, let, let's put it like this, uh, Stuart. Uh, I'm a conservative. Uh, I think that uh, the president probably has an ace up his sleeve in this uh, negotiation that he's done with Pelosi and, uh, and Chuck Schumer. Uh, however, I don't know what that ace is. I'm not in the leadership. I'm not in the negotiation at the negotiation table uh, when it comes to the dealings of uh, the debt ceiling and what we're going to do. I was caught off guard like many of us in the, in the uh, Republican Party. Uh, this seemingly puts us at a, at a distinct disadvantage and sets us up at, uh, at, a, at Christmas time at the end of the year for another big CR that's going to be uh, shoved down our throats. Uh, I don't want to vote for uh, more spending and things like this. However, I come from a district, Stuart, that has just been hammered, hammered by uh, Hurricane Harvey. Yep. Uh, I have nine counties, and all nine counties, every square inch of my district in East Texas, from Houston to Louisiana, uh, has received from 36 to 51 inches of rain. And so uh, that's what we've been dealing with. I haven't been at the negotiation table. But if you stand on principle, and conservatives have stood consistently, stood on principle, you don't have the votes to get your way in Congress. You don't have them. At the end of the day, you fail. You don't get something done. Will you continue to stand on principle no matter what? Absolutely. That's why I'm up here. Uh, you know, I ran on, in 2014 to, to get rid of Obamacare, to balance but the sir, budget. Where does that uh, leave us, Congressman? Where does that leave us? A lot of people voted Republican to get something done, to get rid of yeah. Obamacare. And I know that the House passed the repeal of Obamacare. I got it. But the Republican Party could not come through. You haven't done anything. Well, all I can say, Stuart, uh, uh, you're, you're talking collectively. Uh, there there yeah. are some, uh, some of us uh, who are conservatives who will stand on principle, who will try to uh, get a balanced budget one of these days, sooner than later, uh, that will ha vote for uh, less government. Uh, we have rolled back some regulations of Obama. We've done 14 CRAs, um, VA legislation, health care. Uh, we've, we have done a few things, but let me just tell you this. Uh, I was elected uh, by a uh, large plurality in my district uh, to get things done, and I'm very, very disappointed that we cannot. But let me just say this real quickly, because we have uh, a situation in the Senate where we have to, we're totally dependent upon eight Democrats uh, joining with the Republicans. It basically gives Schumer and Pelosi a veto on legislation. Uh, that we pass in the House and send to the Senate. Uh, there are over 225 bills that we pass in the House that are sitting in the Senate right now, and uh, we're certainly hoping that uh, uh, some, uh, maybe some of those folks will see fit to get rid of the filibuster rule so that we can get this okay. agenda passed. Mm, got it. Congressman Babin, thank you very much for being with us. Our thoughts are with you at your time of trouble in near Houston, Texas. And thank you again for being here. Thank you, sir.